Yeah, so and welcome to Vasily's Garden, folks. Just got back home. Gonna check out the garden in a minute. That's my veggie garden. What are you doing? Oh, that's Leia in the background, just taking my bamboo stick. All right, you can play with that. Now I've come out to, uh, as you can see, the dams in the background. And we've planted these olive trees and maples all the way around the perimeter. Well, not all the way around, one side of it. And a while back, we were talking about these olive trees that I'm keeping small and the pruning, opening them up. So you can see I've opened this up. You can look for the video on our page. Uh, if you're watching it on YouTube, you'll be able to find it a lot easier there to see how to open them up. And this is creating an open up vase shape to start with so you can establish your structural branches. There's no point in actually, and I'm thinking of the other trees down there, which I haven't pruned, leaving them into a shrub because they get quite dense inside and it's important to thin them out from a young age. And once you establish the, the main structural branches, then you can allow it to become more bushy on the outside. And that's the typical shaping of an olive tree. But also with these trees here, because we get the north westerlies, well, pretty much westerlies, I should say, you can see the lean on the tree. Now it was a lot worse. I think it was. Anyway, it was a lot worse. You can see here the winds go again. And I had the tree leaning over, so I did stake it up and I've been using our tree stakes which are these ones here, they're quite a heavy duty thing with a lug on the side there that buries into the ground. And I've only used the soft tie. Now, soft tie I find to be really good. It won't last you more than a year, maybe. It will depends on the area you're applying it. If it's a real dry, harsh environment, it can dry out from the sun and become brittle and, and, and snap. But as far as tying trees up, it's one of the softest ways to do it. You can use clothing if you like, strip some clothing down, you know, cut it into, into strips or even uh, stockings or pantyhose. But I'm going to stick with my soft tie. It's easy to work with. And when it comes to tying these bloody trees up, and why I say bloody is because I've got a lot of them and they've all got a bit of a lean on them, you need to tie them up in three directions at least. Well, minimum two, but again, if your wind does vary from direction to direction, you want to make sure that you've got three points on it tied down and sturdying it out. Because if you pull it in one side like this, for example, in this case here, it's quite obvious it's only going to go one way, the wind that is. But if, you, if you've got it in an area where the wind can change, you don't want the tree being pulled this direction, right? And then because it's leaning that way, then all of a sudden you get these headwinds from that side pushing it this way and you've got no anchor points in the opposite direction. So one stake to the side tied to it ain't going to do it. If the roots can't hold the tree up, that garden stake ain't going to do it either because it's got no roots on it, it's just a stick. There we are, this is a stick and it will rot out over, over time. So there's no anchoring points on the side. So there's no spread of roots to stop this from wobbling around and that will wobble, wobble around. So three points, much, much better and a lot safer. And I'm going to see if I can pull it because it's actually thickened up. By comparison to the trees that I've got over there, this has got a much thicker trunk. And I'm putting that down to because we've removed a lot of the leaves above. <laughs> Sorry, the dogs are jumping around everywhere. Just, she's a troublemaker. This girl here, she just, <laughs> that's for another episode, folks. Well, because there aren't many leaves on this, we've removed a lot of it. A lot of energy's gone into the trunk and it's thickened up. It's almost well, I could say one and a half times thicker than the other ones. So anchoring it down, I've got a double loop. I've looped it around and all I'm going to do is just work it again. And this is something you need to do with all your trees if you're going to stake them and, and control the, the growth direction. Tying them down and walking away for, you know, X amount of months and not inspecting them uh, is not the right thing to do. You need to actually go back, make sure that the uh, soft tie is in good position and I'm going to get it in my position to see if I can pull it. There we are gently pulling it. I might give it an assistance, but I can feel that's that's as far as it'll go, but it's a lot better than what it was. And that's what happens when you're using old soft tie. <laughs> you know why I haven't got the new tie? Because I walked out here with no tools, no nothing. <laughs> Just a couple of dogs or three of them now. And, and where the shed is, it's at least 150 meters away. And I can't be bothered. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> Between the cuts there, folks, we've had a wrestle with the dogs, we've been patting the dogs, we've cut the string a couple of times, and they've just taken another piece away from me. Uh, anyway, you've got to have a look at that. Go and have a look at this. Look at this. Look at this craziness. 
Hey, this little girl, only a few weeks old, is really giving her father a hard time. And he's such a gentle giant. Hey, Vader, that's not food. Get it out of his get it out of his mouth. He's got the string. <laughs> They're running away. Bring it here. So this is. <laughs> I'm going to give up. <laughs> She's taking my stick. Oh, anyway, let's just finish this. The whole purpose here is, folks, to make sure that you tie your trees up and revisit them on a regular basis, making sure that the string hasn't gone loose, whether it's a soft tie or other uh, material that you're using. And you can do a figure eight if you like on them, but when you're doing three stakes, you don't really need to. You just go around the loop and always get it somewhere where it's nice and sturdy. You need a little bit of a locking spot so it doesn't slide down. Now you can see the, uh, the nodes there that have been pruned off in the past, the branches. That'll stop it from sliding down, as will this branch on the opposite side there. Simple things like that. No point tying down here. Down here is way too low. You haven't got enough leverage. And if you go up here, you've got the best chance of splitting the tree right open here, where the, uh, the joins are between the two branches. So right there's a spot, and assist it with your hand. Gentle, and let's hope it doesn't snap again. There we are. That's as, oh, that's as much as I think I'm going to go with it for now. I'm going to have to pull it a bit more tighter again because I let loosened it. There we are. And this over time will, will straighten the tree up. It doesn't happen overnight. If they're young trees, make sure you stake them up really well right at the beginning. You know, three points, three points. Remember that. Three points is what you need. It's what I find to work really well. And the tie is done. Let's just get this back into the ground. That's the uh, tree stake. There we are. A bit more. That's a bit better. Well, expect some more high winds to come. Or well, they're always going to be around. And she is destroying. I'm going to kill you. Drop. Drop. Good girl. It's not a game. And if you are using our metal stakes and you've got a lawnmower, sweetheart, Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Leave it alone. Go away. Go away. She thinks it's a game. There we are. Put the stake in there so you know where the actual metal stake is so you don't run over it with a lawnmower. Hey. Leia. Leia, come here. Come here. Come here. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Sit. Stay. 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 Good girl. Ah. She's a handful, <laughs> that's for sure. Check out our website, vasilisgarden.com. We're not giving her away, but we, we're not selling her either. But we've got everything else you need for your garden to have it flourishing for a wonderful spring, summertime. Uh, if you're looking for click and collect, uh, you can do that too from Lethbridge and Dandenong. Otherwise, find our stockers page and find a store near you that's carrying our range. From Eva Silly, Maresi.